Prince. Ah. We're out here in Los Angeles, downtown. You're out on the streets homeless. Tell me about it. Oh my God. A place you wouldn't never want to experience if you're a homeless person. Los Angeles is the number one city for homeless, and they call it Skid Row. And it's not a nice place to be. Neither is uh, uh, Chicago, Detroit, and all these other yeah, Midwest and uh, There's East Coast no side. place yeah. that's nice to be homeless. Not at all. Especially in the wintertime. And that's why I'm here in Los Angeles. Yeah. Yeah. But um, I'm, I'm just grateful to have some sunshine, some heat. And uh, I've been out on my own since, age, like I said, since the age of 15 years old. been offended for myself. I used to do some dirty, nasty things, but he rectified my life and I changed in certain ways. He said, well, you can do better. I, of course I can. Well, you were saying you had a rough childhood. Oh, absolutely. I mean, I grew up in uh, substance abuse, alcoholism, and same here. I adopted the same kind of thing. your parents thing. were like that? Your uh, parents? Mm -hmm. My mom, dad, and my six sisters. I got six sisters, three older than me, and three younger than me. And my whole life, I haven't even been uh, always drinking and drugging. I had anywhere from one day to almost ten and a half years clean before, oh, so wow. I know I can I can do better. I got 28 years. Wow. 28 years ago, I was out here. Wow. So you could do it again. Absolutely. So you're telling me you don't go in the shelters? Not in this kind of heat here. Well, only when it's like really cold. Yeah, because they go, they, you, you go in at a certain time, you're going to sit up in chairs, they're going to preach to you, and then the only, you know, they're going to send you up there, take a shower with so many people. And by the time you go to bed, the people are going to be talking, stinky feet, and, you know, at 6 o'clock, get here real early, and they kick you out by 7. Yeah, they kick you out during the day. Oh, absolutely. And then you can't take your stuff. So if you leave your stuff out here, it gets stolen. Yeah, but you got to, you got to find ways. I mean, somewhere to put it, like you know. Oh yeah. Places. Well, yeah. When it gets cold and wet and rainy. Yeah, you, yeah. Trash so, bags or tarped, anything, yeah. anything that uh, that will keep it uh, dry. Yeah. Is anybody out here helping you? I've been on my own since the age of 15 years old. I don't know anybody. I'm, I'm a solo kind of guy. Right, but I mean, is there any case managers or anybody coming around helping you get off the streets? Social service. I'm, I applied with social service. I uh, uh, will be receiving benefits. Well, well food stamps are already been starting to get those. But um, the Medi-Cal, I got that, yeah. got that going since I've been here since October. So it is what it is. But How are you surviving? By opening my mouth and asking people, you know, if I need yeah, clothes and shoes, or or I might bend the truth a little bit and say, can you help me out with a couple of dollars here? I need, you know, food. And sometimes, you know, sometimes it'll be the truth and sometimes it be half the truth and not all way the truth, you know. If you had three wishes, what would they be? One is to have my full loaded mobile home because I love to travel. Yeah. And I love to, uh, I've been from San Francisco to the Carolinas and a lot of cities in between. My second wish is that I can be drug free like you one day at a time for 28 years or better. I know how to get clean. But I never learned how to stay clean. Well, it's tough out here. It's hard to be homeless sober. Yeah, it is. Yeah, and that's you got to escape the pain of homelessness. Absolutely. So and there you go. So you you know yeah, about that. Yeah. And wish number three. Wish number three is that I wish this world would be a better place. The man in the mirror, with Michael Jackson. I'm gonna make a change with the man in the mirror because if you see something, do something. Don't talk about something. Why talk about something if you're not gonna do nothing? It starts with me with the man in the mirror. And that's why my second wish was, I wish I could stay clean and sober because I know I can do better and I can not only help myself, but I can help others. Awesome wishes. Yes. Well, thank you very much for talking to me. It's my pleasure.